फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर आशा बख्शी फ्रॉम इंदौर आई वेलकम यू टू दिस क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन आंसर सीरीज वी ऑल हैव सम क्वेरीज इन अवर डे टू डे प्रैक्टिस आई होप दिस वीडियो सीरीज विल हेल्प यू सॉल्व सम ऑफ दीज क्वेरीज माई टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज टू डॉक्टर अदिति टंडन डॉक्टर अदिति टंडन इज अ गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम मुंबई with expertise in fertility and endoscopy she has several publications and has also received uva research award in isar conference aditi do you think the incidence of scar ectopic is increasing these days and if so then how to deal with it thank you dr asha bakshi for asking me this very relevant question yes it is true that the incidence of cesarean scar ectopic has been increasing and the reason for this is the increased rate of cesarean sections that are performed the ability to accurately diagnose and treat this morbid condition is very vital to the practice of all of us obstetricians and gynecologists a high index of suspicion is required to diagnose this condition the clinical diagnosis would depend on the clinical manifestations the symptoms it would mainly be painless vaginal bleeding after a period of amenorrhea a history of a pre- previous cesarean section with a positive beta hcg and most importantly the ultrasound scan so a transvaginal ultrasound is the most important diagnostic tool of choice the aim of management is to prevent massive hemorrhage and to conserve the uterus for future fertility if desired while there are management options like medical surgical and interventional radiology procedures When the patient has significant symptoms, the surgical treatment option should be considered. In an endogenous cesarean scar pregnancy, which is when the pregnancy goes towards the uterine cavity, a hysteroscopic resection or a surgical evacuation can be offered to the patient. However, in an exogenous cesarean scar pregnancy, when the pregnancy goes towards the myometrium, causing thinning of myometrium, the preferred mode of management is removal of the pregnancy excision of the scar and resuturing of the edges to reinforce the scar this would improve the future fertility and it would also reduce future cesarean scar pregnancies studies have shown the best prognosis when excision of the scar ectopic along with refreshing the edges of the scar is performed laparoscopically Additional measures like temporary ligation of bilateral uterine arteries at source and all the use of vasopressin can be adopted during surgery to prevent massive intraoperative hemorrhage. Hence, the take-home message is to maintain a high index of suspicion in order to diagnose this relatively rare but very dangerous condition. and the appropriate use of laparoscopy in order to effectively manage the condition